All right, Brewer Spring Training Day 2 has happened. To start out the day, Adele Amador got an out. Julio Carreras got struck out by Colin Ray. Then to end out the first, LA Huris Montero got struck out. To start out with the Brew Crew, Garrett Mitchell grounded out. To get the Brewers on the board, William Contreras hit a home run. Then after the Contreras home run, Tyler Black flew out. To end out the bottom of the first, Willie Adamas grounded out to second. Heading into the top of the second, Taylor Clark would replace Colin Ray. In the first batter that Taylor Clark faced, Michael Toglio would hit a home run to make it 1-1. to Then Hunter Goodman would go back-to-back. Bradley Zimmer would then hit a single, plus a Aaron Shunk single. Then Yankeel Fernandez would fly out for the first out. Willie McIver would be struck out by Taylor Clark. To end out the first part of the second, Aaron Shunk got caught stealing. Bottom of the second, Jake Bowers would fly out to left for the first out. After that, Oliver Dunn would hit to second for the second out. Then to end out the bottom of the second, Owen Miller would ground out to third for the third out. Another pitching change would happen, which would be J.B. Bukowskis for Taylor Clark. J.B. would strike out Adele Amador. Julio Carreras would double to right. L.A. Harris Montero would get walked. Michael Toglio would strike out swinging. Then to start out the next half frame, Blake Perkins would fly out to center. Carl Kaufman would come out for Anthony Molina. Chris Roller would strike out. Then for the third out, Garrett Mitchell would hit it to second. Double-A pitcher Harold Torino would replace J.B. Bukowskis. Harold would strike out Bradley Zimmer. Aaron Shunk would get a single to Blake Perkins. Fernandez would hit it back to Harold Chirino for the second out. For the Willie McIver single, the Rockies would lead 3-1. to one. Willie would steal second base. Then Adele Amador would get an RBI single. Julio Carreras would lead that up with a double counting an RBI. Another double would be hit by this time by L.A. Harris Montero. Then Michael Toglio would get an RBI single, making it 7-1. to one. Then after all those runs were given up, Adam Seminaris would come in for Harold Chirino. Then for the third out, Hunter Goodman would pop up. Contreras would ground out to third. Ty Black would have a fly out. Then Adamas would go out on strikes. Sam Carlson would come in for Adam Seminaris. Yanni Hernandez would come in for Willie Adamas. And Jefferson Carroll would come in for William Contreras. Bradley Zimmer would hit a line drive single to Blake Perkins. Aaron Shunk would hit a single. Fernandez would hit a fly out for the first out. With a pitch in the dirt, both runners would advance a base. Willie McIver would fly out and then Sterling Thompson would replace Adele Amador. Sterling Thompson would get a two RBI single making it 9-1 Colorado. Carreras would be struck out. A bunch of substitutions happened. Jake Bowers would get a double off of Justin Lawrence. Oliver Dunn would be struck out. Owen Miller would get an RBI double making it 92 Colorado. Blake Perkins would have a swing and a miss for a strikeout. Chris Roller would then be hit by a pitch. Garrett Mitchell would end out the inning on a lineout to Coco Montes. More substitutions that happened. Jordan Beck would be Ellie Harris Montero's replacement. Jordan Beck would be walked. Jordan Beck would be caught stealing for the first out. Zach Veen would hit a double. Benny Montgomery got walked, moving Zach Veen to third. Coco Montes would get an RBI single, making Colorado have the lead 10-2. to two. Drew Romo would be called out on strikes. Jefferson Carroll striking out on Tyler Black, plus more replacements. Yanni Hernandez would be walked. The Brewers would make it 10-3 after a Ernesto Martinez Jr. double scoring in Yanni Hernandez. Brock Wilkin would then be struck out. Alexander Corniel would replace Ryan Middendorf. Connor Kaiser would be struck out. 
Sterling Thompson would hit a fly out to center. Then Vladimir Restatoyo popped out the first. Riley Pint replacing Matt Koch, and Jordan Beck would stay in the game. Vinny Capra would be struck out. Then Brewer Hicklin struck out. Chris Roller got walked. Then Chavez Young would be ending out the inning. Carlos D. Rodriguez would be replacing Chris Roller, and TJ Shook would be replacing Alex Corniel. Jordan Beck would hit a single pass second. Grant Levine would ground out to third. Warming Barnabell, what a name, replaced Riley Pint. Then Warming would fly out to left. Benny Montgomery would end out the inning by a ground out to second. Two more replacements happened and Jefferson Carroll flew out to right. Wes Clark would come into the game for Tyler Black. Wes Clark would get a pop-up and Yanni Hernandez would ground out to first. Wes Clark would be the DH and Caleb Bo Bowman would replace TJ Shook. Ryan Ritter would hit into a double play to end out the inning. Coco Montes would get a single and Drew Romo would get a flyout. Two more different substitutions are now Storm Martinez singled and Brock Wilkin got walked. For two more outs in the ninth, Vinny Capper would pop up and Brewer Hicklin struck out. Then to end out the game, Carlos D. Rodriguez would fly out to center.